So um, example one, using the empirical rule, what percentage of values in a standard normal distribution uh, fall below the z-score of one, of negative one, or what falls above um, a z-score of negative one? And um, although we haven't quite covered the standard normal distribution yet, um, let's assume that it's the normal distribution we've been talking about. We'll define it in the next um, lesson. It's actually when you don't know any of the values and you just know um, the z-scores or the, um, or what we call the standard deviations, right? So that's what the z-score is. All right, so we could easily do this problem just by knowing the empirical rule. Um, and in a standard normal distribution, uh, we pretend like we don't know the, the actual values. Well, you don't have to pretend, we really don't know. Um, and instead, we just know the standard deviations, or what we call the z-scores. Okay. Now, what they want to know is what percentage of values fall below a z-score of negative 1. And here we know that this area is about 14%, and this area is about 2%, right? And this area is pretty negligible, right? So if we add these up, that would be point, point 0.16. So that, to write it, in, uh, in sort of formal algebraic expression is P where Z is uh, less than negative one equals 0.16. Now, once you know this, now it's asking what about above a Z-score of negative one? So now it's talking about this area. Well, there's two ways you could do this um, to figure out P where Z is greater than negative one, we know that the entire area is one, right? And we could just subtract out this red part, 0.16, right? We could just do that. And we know that that will end up with this area, which will then be 0.84. There is another way we could do this. What we could do is um, add up this part, this part over here, which we know is exactly half of the normal distribution, so 0.50, uh, 0.5, um, and then add to it this little part right here, which we know is 34%. So um, when we add those together, so we could do 34, and that also gives us 84% of the curve, right? And um, and so those are just two different ways of doing it. Either way, 